Let's compare the Uniball Air to the Uniball Signal Gel Stick 0.7. Now, the Uniball Air is a cheaper. Cut. The Uniball Air is a more expensive pen than the Uniball. Signo Gel Stick 0.7 and we're going to do a comparison of these see which one writes better what the lines are like and if there is any feathering so the first thing that you will notice with the Uniball Signo 0.7 Gel Stick is that it has sort of a tripod grip in a way um, the inside of this is beveled in some it's cut out slightly and there's a grip here I'm not sure if you can hear that but that grip is um, useful for when you're drawing or doing any writing. You could hold on to the pen better. So let's go ahead and compare the lines. So, Signo, Signo Gel, Fast Line, Medium Speed, and Slow. As you can see there, if you've been writing something, and then you go to write something again right after that, you will get a blob at the end of it. I'll show you what I mean by that. As you can see there. Now let's go ahead and do see if there's any reflection of light off of it. And then after this we will write with the Uniball Air and see what that is like. At the moment I could not find a Uniball Air that I have that is in black, so I will be doing this test with the red ink. As you can see here, this pen has a more aesthetic look to it. It's a better looking pen, and it looks a lot fancier. This pen here is made in Japan, and this one is as well. One thing that I will say about this pen is it feels more comfortable. Um, in the hand. I think it's the end of it has, seems to have a little bit more weight to it whereas this one um, it's kind of even throughout the pen. The tip on this pen seems to be a little bit bigger than the gel signal and let's go ahead and do the reflection test. I do the um, test for the reflection to see how it looks. If you're doing a drawing, it's a more detailed or large, and you don't want uh, light reflecting off of it. Um, what I mean by that is kind of a comparison to what something would look like if you're drawing with a graphite and you have that shine or that sheen to it. pretty much the same. And one more thing I will mention about this pen here is that you have a smoother writing experience with it. And not only that, but this pen you can write with it at more of an angle. I'll give you a comparison of that as well. So if you're usually drawing like this, or writing, you can hold it at a very steep angle and still, still get your lines. And I'm holding it at about, I would say, a 60 degree angle. Now if I try that with the other pen, it probably will not work at that steep of an angle. As you can see, now if I try to hold it at a 45, it's starting to not work. Now if I try to hold it at the same angle of 60 degrees, don't really get bold lines or anything that's working as well. Both of these pins have a clip on the end. You clip it onto something and helpful for keeping the pin from rolling off of your desk. So I would say, let's see how flexible that is. It goes to right about there. This one seems like it might have a bit of weakness right there, just in that spot. So I think 
plastic. As far as clip goes, this one might be uh, less likely to break. But this one I think has better ink. Um, and it has a better look to the pen overall. So I think um, if you want to pick a pen as far as the absolute best between these two, I would go with the Uniball Air. And the Uniball Gel Stick 0.7, I would go with that one if you want a cheaper pen. Um, these ones cost quite a bit more than a gel stick. You can buy the gel sticks and packs that are in twice. You can get twice as many pens just about for the same price. But I have had both of these pens for maybe two years now, and I've done more drawing with the gel stick than I have with the Uniball Air. But what I do like about the Air is that you can just barely touch the paper, or you can just hold it at a very steep angle and you can still get your dots your lines stippling anything else that you want to draw on the paper but that's up to you for which pen you like um, but personally I would prefer the Uniball Air but go ahead and tell me which of these pens you prefer to draw with and which of them that you have are there anything in this video you'd like me to cover and if so go ahead and let me know and I will cover it in a future video if you like this video, give it a like, share it with your friends, and let me know any suggestions below this video of anything you'd like me to cover in future videos. Until then, I'll see you in the next video, and you have a great day.